This is Zach and today we're going to go ahead and continue from the last video that we had last week and last week we did uh, neutral posture. So I talked about how neutral posture you've got to keep your glutes clenched, your abs tight and your shoulder blades down and back. And I told you I was going to continue that, try to take you from that to squatting to deadlifting to lunging. Basically how do you use neutral posture from start to finish on different exercises? Now everybody's got their own idea of that, but like I told you, I'll kind of go over that again. We'll talk about what neutral posture is one more time. Again, you know, glutes tight, rib cage down, shoulders back. You'll see a lot of people, when I say, again, good posture position, they're going to lift their shoulders up, stick their chest up, butt back. We do not want that, okay? We want a neutral spine, and that is very important to maintaining the integrity of it, okay? So, glutes tight. Again, you almost want that hip level should, to be level. You don't want a forward angle or a posterior angle. We want a neutral angle here, okay? Neutral pelvis. Again, rib cage down. We don't want it flared up, all right? So what I'm going to show you with neutral posture is we're going to learn how to do a hip hinge. And a hip hinge is exactly what it says it is, okay? You're going to hinge at your hip joint, okay? So if you have a, you, you know, your arm is your spine, and your butt down here sits back, your spine is gonna have to lean forward, correct? And if it doesn't, you're gonna have to bend your spine to adjust to that. We don't wanna bend your spine. Maintain that neutral position at all times. So, hip hinge, get neutral posture. All you're gonna do is set your hips back, 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 back. If you notice, I'm still neutral here. There's no change, no change at all in my low back. As I come up, I'm going to pull through my glutes and finish to neutral posture again. Okay? So again, I'll do it one more time. Hips unlock. Sit back to that back wall. Look at that low back. It's the same. Got a nice stretch right here. We're going to pull through the glutes and finish. What you want to avoid is any bending of the spine. And everybody does it. Anytime I try to show someone this, they start bending their spine saying, how hard is it? You just keep your spine stable and nobody can do it the first time. So make sure you really work on tightening up the core and stabilizing that spine. This is normally what I see. You get this nice little arch in your back. You get neutral up here. They go one of these. And then they finish here. Okay. See all that excessive hyperextension that I just did in my back? You don't want to do that. Or people go like this. We're not trying to do that. Again, we do not want that back to bend at all. What we want are the hips to hinge. So again, only move at the hip when leaning forward. Again, that hip is going back and tilting. And as it tilts, your spine goes with it. Think of it as your hips are wed or glued to your spine. Your spine is one long pull. And it just goes right along with that motion, okay? If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Thanks, guys. Have a good one.